Ooh, now there's a read. <laughs> It's the weekend and I've, ha I've got a package that's arrived from New York, Roberto's Woodwinds. I've never actually been in Roberto's but I have ordered a lot of stuff from them. And what I've got today is, a, what I hope, is a DVD of a Lieberman Masterclass. Cool, look forward to watching that later. But what I want to look at for you right now are these things, Roberto's Wins, not a paid product endorsement, I have paid for them, and I had to pay the customers charges for them, and everything else. I play Daddario reads, but I wanted to see how these Roberto's reads stack up, because a lot of top players are playing them. I still have this, mm, I still have this dreadful cold. It's kind of clearing a little bit, but you can tell I'm not, I don't look good in the camera anyway, but, and my cough is, it's easing up, but when I do cough, it's awful, it's still bad, so I'm hoping it clears up pretty soon, because it is affecting my playing as well, um, and you can hear it on my voice, so I'm not the usual happy Dan that you might get. So the first thing I noticed, they're not filed, they're not like uh, my Daddario Select Jazz, um, they kind of, it looks, it looks slightly warped. Can you see? Hang on, we'll see what it blows like. Okay, not as responsive as I usually like. Um, feels like they've got a darker tone. Um, let's give it a blow for a minute now. change and try another one. I will soak them and come back to them later on today um, so you kind of get a better idea but I'm, what I'm trying to do is test them the way I play my normal reads which is I do now just get my reads straight out of the box. I don't have time to be prepping them all uh, so that's why I really like my Daddario's and I've stuck with them. Now this one looks like it's cut slightly better. Um, it's on a three and a half according to their chart is matching the same strength as what I played. So I think it's slightly softer. So this one's more responsive. It's still a bit more resistance there though than what I'm used to. I do like immediately about them is how well they are sealing on the mouthpiece. That I don't normally get with my reeds. I mean that's pretty good. That's a really good seal. Oh now there's a reed. <laughs> happy with the squeaks the read sounds okay um, be interesting to hear what it sounds like on the playback uh, but what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna soak three of them uh, for a couple of hours like a treat you know if I'm doing a proper read test and we'll see but gosh my chest <coughs> <coughs> Heading to get some 
cement or mortar for this hole we've got in the wall, which I think a mouse is getting in. So this is where we think the mouse is getting in, in that hole. So what we need to do, we need to cement it up a bit. Yeah. So can you get me, fill up your um, bucket with water for me please. I'm glad I got the drone landed before this hail came. The problem is I've now lost the rest of Katie and the kids, so... Oh, this hail is massive. I was hoping to leave the... Hey, Charlie! You okay? Yeah. You get wet? Yeah. I was too busy mucking around with Snapseed and now I've lost the rest of them. So I think I'm heading in the right direction. I mean, I've got the car keys anyway. So, unless they fancy a bit of a walk home. That hail was mental. So glad I got the drone down in time. <coughs> oh dear. So, heading back. I guess we're having a Chinese tonight. And then I'll uh, see how those reeds have gone whilst they've been soaking all day. See what kind of result we get. The sky is just beautiful at the moment. Hey, look at that behind me, whether that's coming out of the camera or that one. It's probably not because it's got me in focus, but it's just so many beautiful colours. I brought eight man with me kind of like the cheap GoPro I forgot to put the SD card back in it so otherwise I'd have got you some nice time-lapse footage
Okay, so these reeds have been in soak now for about seven hours. So let's see. Can I balance them on there? Let's pop them on the table. Let's see what they blow like now. Okay, so they are an awful lot better than they were. So these are clearly reeds that need soaking. <laughs> Um, let's see what the other one does. Whoa! You hear that inconsistency there between the two reeds. That's like a totally different reed strand. Bin. Okay, what I'll do now, because this is the last one of the three, I'll play something on this Roberto's win, uh, Roberto's read. And then I'll play something on my normal Didario select jazz setup. <laughs> Just a quick reminder, of course, this Daddario reed has only been in the rejuvenate. It hasn't been soaked for a few hours and it's been played a lot. So, okay, maybe it's been played in, but it certainly has disadvantages to a fresh new reed that's been soaked for six hours. <laughs> That's why I'm playing these. So in conclusion, Roberto's wins. If I live in New York, they're a good read. They've got a nice kind of middle, middle hang on, a more sort of darker mid response to the reads. Um, but I prefer my Daddario Select Jazz and living in the UK these are just not viable because the customs charge was horrendous on it, it was like another £20 to bring in a box of reads and a DVD so maybe with Trump and everything the uh, trade deal something will change but they're good reads but they don't outplay my Daddario Select so I hope that helps you uh, not a paid product endorsement for the Roberto's we re Reeds? Weeds? Uh, I need to get on my practice now. So thanks for watching the vlog. Um, if you already subscribed, thank you very much. If you don't, please click below. There's normally a couple of videos a week now, not daily. I haven't got the time to do dailies. Uh, please make sure you head over to my teaching website, Cambridge Saxophone. You can get yourself four free saxophone lessons. And I'm offering 15% off till the end of January, so a few days for courses. If you're not sure about that, drop a message below. I can send you the link. And... Have you seen this one yet?